Shikub Yod Hei Vav Hei Adonai. Today's lesson will be about how we use TMO magically. What we do with the Adonai light once we've accumulated it, because we don't have to just breathe it out and breathe it in, essentially like we did in the simple form. We can make use of the Adonai light in a magical way. So I'm going to break this down into three basic uh, parts. The first part is the accumulation of a charge, a strong charge, of the Adonai light. We do that with the Ani through the Adonai, the Ani yod he vav he Adonai. This is where we generate the Adonai light in TMO. And we do this three times in succession and we generate, uh, accumulate, a triple charge of the Adonai light. You can do many more uh, uh, accumulations of the Adonai light if you choose, but for now we'll just start with three. So, once we do the uh, Ani Yaute Vavi Adonai, Adonai, the Adonai light is surrounding us, and we hold on to it. We hold on to it. And then we do the Ani yod he vav he Adonai again and add another layer of the Adonai light to what we've accumulated. Then we do it again and we have three charges of Adonai light surrounding us. Um, your experience of this will vary depending on your experience of TMO, uh, whether you feel the Adonai light really strongly or not, but through time, over time, it will become denser and uh, more energetic. Um, it will feel like your uh, tire being inflated, as Varden uh, says, um, and you have a charge of Adonai light. And then, and for now, we will just be uh, doing the Ribono Shalom and sending it out and taking it back in. So, we do the Ani through Adonai three times in a row to accumulate the light and then we go through the whole TMO but this time we don't accumulate another charge of light what we do is stabilize what we have accumulated okay so let's try that Ani yod he vav he Adonai so we have the first charge surrounding us. Ani yod he vav he Adonai. And we have a second charge around us now. Ani yod he vav he Adonai. Now we have the three charges around us. It's flowing around us very strongly. We feel the Adonai light as a, a palpable thing. Um, static on our, our skin, um, just high energy charge surrounding us. Now we are going to go through the whole TMO and stabilize that Adonai light. Ani yod he vav he Adonai. Okay, the light is stable around us. Now we send it out. Rip on a shell alarm. Amen. So this feels different than doing just the regular TMO. We held a very strong charge of energy and sent it out. And there's a, a real sense of release when you send this charge out. And it rebounds back upon us. Okay, let's do it a couple more times so you get the feel of it. Ani yod he vav he Adonai. 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 Ribbon of Shalom. Amen. Ok, 
Okay, one more time. Ani yod hevave Adonai. Ani yod hevave Adonai. Ani yod hevave Adonai. Ani yod hevave Adonai. Ribbon shall quite intense. Um, so, the second phase is impressing upon that charge of Adonai light um, a purpose, an intention, something we want to accomplish with the Adonai light. So, for example, uh, I want to protect myself from COVID-19 uh, while I go out about in town. I just want to add protection, a little layer of protection, um, so that I don't come in contact with COVID-19, or if I do come in contact with it, it will stay away from me. There was There is a barrier f f between me and COVID-19. Okay, so once we have accumulated that triple accumulation of the Adonai light, we want to focus in on our intention. So in this case, protection from COVID-19. Um, shape the Adonai light so that it meets that intention. You do this with your mind. It's very easy to do. You just do it. You don't have to think about how you're going to do it, etc. You just simply do it. So then, therefore, the Adonai light is filled with this intention. My intention, my magical will, has changed the Adonai light so that it can do nothing other than protect me from COVID-19. And as we then do the Ribbono Shalom, we send this light with the intention out and it penetrates the fabric of the universe. Every moment of the universe is touched by this intention and then it rebounds back again, touching every part of the universe to come back to me. So that that intention has spread out through the universe and come back. Okay? So let's do that. <laughs> let's start with the triple accumulation. Ani yod Adonai Ani yod hevave Adonai Ani yod hevave Adonai So I have my triple accumulation, very strong, dense accumulation surrounding me, and I impress upon it with my mind that it will protect me from COVID-19 will act as a barrier to any encounter with COVID-19. Okay, my Adonai light is fully charged with this intention. Ani yod Adonai ribbon shalom. Um, let's do that two more times through the triple accumulation, the impregnating of the light, and sending it out. We'll do that two more times as practice. Ani yod hevave Adonai. Ani yod hevave Adonai. Ani yod hevave Adonai. Ani yod hevave Adonai. Rebon shalom. I don't know. 
Adonai, Ani Yod Hevave Adonai, Ani Yod Hevave Adonai. Now press on that light, your intention. Ani Yod Hevave Adonai. Ribbon of Shalom. Amen. Okay. Now, the third phase has to do with what I call shepherding the light. We, we accumulate and we send it out. Now, the coming back as it rebounds back towards us, it's also, once again, passing through the fabric of the universe. And we can take advantage of that and make that a very conscious, directed process where, as it rebounds back, we see ourselves in this fabric and consciously bring it to surround ourself. Now this is really more important when you're working for other people. Say you're performing a healing for somebody, you want to send that energy out through the fabric of the universe and touch upon them. Recognize when you touch upon them as you're sending it out. And then when it comes back, you bring it back to them and focus it specifically around them instead of bringing it back to yourself. But in this case, we'll bring it back to ourselves. But again, focus uh, its return to strongly impact um, uh, your own body, uh, your own self. So yeah, let's try that one time. Okay? Honey. Yod he vave Adonai Ani Yod he vave Adonai Ani Yod he vave Adonai Now impregnate the Adonai light the charge Ani Yod he vave Adonai, send it out to yourself. Ribbon of Shalom. It touches you on the way out and rebounds to surround you. Amen. Let's do. Um, do that, um, but uh, send that protection to somebody else so you can get a better feel of what the shepherding is. So, uh, choose a friend, choose a person that you want to protect in this way, and focus on them. And as you send it out, your, your pa the passage of the Adonai light touches them, goes through them, out to the edges of the universe, and then rebounds to come and focus solely on them. Okay? Let's try that. Ani yod vave Adonai Ani yod vave Adonai Ani yod vave Adonai. Now, in the Adonai light, impress it with the task of protecting this person you have chosen from COVID-19. Ani yod vave Adonai. Ribbon shalom. See that it touches them as it passes out to the edges of the universe. And as it comes back, focus it in on them, that that protection may surround them. 
Amen. At the end of doing that, you'll notice that you are not surrounded with the Adonai light as you were before. So you have gotten rid of all the Adonai light. It is now surrounding that person you have chosen. Let's do that again. Ani yod he vav he Adonai. Ani yod he vav he Adonai. Ani yod he vav he Adonai. Focus it on this person. Ani yod he vav he Adonai Rebon Shalom Touches them on the way out and rebounds upon them to surround them with your intention. Amen. Okay. Well, that is how you use <laughs> the Adonai light. Um, in future lessons, I'll be coming with other techniques and other uses for the Adonai light. But that's the basis. It's the, what I call the full form. Um, it's basically what you will use most often in your work with TMO. Okay, until next time, please practice that. Please uh, get used to that uh, and uh, manipulate some autonite. Okay, bye bye. <clears throat>